Oh, there we go. Hey! Woohoo! One hatch. Ignore the ugly screws, they will be replaced. I've got some uh, Allen head nuts and bolts to go in there, little nylocks. But that is one hatch cover done. So we've got a reasonably even gap all the way around. I mean, these things are never going to be perfect. I'm not a boat builder, yeah, I'm not, not an expert. This is just me rebuilding my boat. So I need to get some little knobs or handles or something small and neat to go on there. There we go. One locker. These will snap shut, keep it closed. I'm hoping they're not going to chatter when I'm going along. Um, if they do, I'll have to work out some sort of catch, probably in the centre there, that flips around to lock them in place. I'll probably just have one on the front, front or back on all of them. So I'll just put one on one side. I won't have both sides. And then some sort of little catch or handle or something in the centre. I want something that's quite smooth and small, not going to stick out because obviously people are going to sit here. I don't want you to bash your head on it. I mean, I could just put a, a, a small hole in there that you can pull, put your fingers in and pull it down rather than having handles that stick out. But, you yeah, know, we'll see. There's ideas, all these for courses. I'll work out what I'm going to do at a later date. But at the moment, I'm not 100% sure what I want. A little round knob or a flat bar, like a little handle. But like I say, I don't want anything that's going to stick out too far. If it sticks out, one, it's going to look ugly. And two, yeah, I don't want it sticking out so far that you're going to be bashing your head on it and catching yourself on it. But that, I'm happy with. Look, we can get stuff in there. <laughs> and it closes. Boom. I am over the moon. That is a huge step forward to see that done, fitted and sorted. A couple of little cock-ups just drilling one of the hinges. But I've overcome that. It's just a minor twist. It's literally, as I started drilling, it just moved a little bit. It's not even half a mil. It's so small an amount. But visually, I could see it just didn't look straight. You know. So now I've corrected that. I'm happy. <laughs> there you go, guys. We've got one done. Now we've got another one to go with the drilling. Get the hinges sorted. Once that's done, that's number two. And we're going to adjust the gaps and all the rest of it, make sure that one's finished. So I've re-sanded this one to give me a better reveal at the bottom and the top. So I've got a nice even gap all the way around it. I'll say most of the gap will be taken out when we uh, do the old gel coat. That will put a, an extra layer on there. I could have made it so that these were back so that you know these shut right against the complete backing all the way around. Which, in hindsight, might have been better to keep the dust and everything out and all that. But, you know, give it something to shut against so you don't see any lights through it and all of that. But, hey-ho, it is what it is. It's done now. But, yeah, I'm happy. Let's get in there. Moving forward. What I've got to do is whatever I do on this side, I've got to repeat on the other side. So I can't make one side better than the other. And, you know, it'll just be, oh, why didn't you do that side like that? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about making a bit on the other side side of these so cut out a smaller hole and then stick the whole thing on the back you know so that it's shut in completely against that but then again if you do that this has got to be completely flat otherwise it's going to make it stick out it's you know it's just presents a whole nother load of challenges whatever way i do it it's going to be a challenge so but i'm happy with that it's in next sun's starting to come up through the windows now can't see a damn thing Right, I've got to take all these hinges back off of this one. Now, I'd love to leave them on, but I'm going to need these ones to uh, drill all the other holes and line them all up. Because if I leave them on, the problem I've got is what's going to happen is they're going to get ruined. I'm going to be sanding and gel coating and everything else. That's going to get all in them springs. They're going to get covered in crud. And they're all going to look like crap. 
I don't want that, so I'm just using the one set at the moment to get all my holes done and everything else for what I need to do. Yeah, once that's all done, I've got all the up above under the deck here. Yeah, once I've got that all done and gel coated, so I've got nothing dripping down all over them, I can start fitting stuff up. But at the moment, what I don't want to do is install my new hinges and get them covered in rubbish and ruined. I'm not dribbling, it's the water build up from the breath in the mask. So I think you do have to be a bit careful of actually when you're fiberglassing as well. You're leaning over your work, you dribble a load of water into it. So these might not be measured in some sort of accurate precision way. Not overly bothered. What I want them to do is visually look right. So there's my new hole, and you can see just underneath it where the old holes were. So we're just above it. What I didn't want to do is I thought it would be a bit closer to that, and I thought if I drill that there, it's going to break out into there. That's only got to be fillered, which means it's soft, which means the screw could eventually walk down into there, and I'll have a massive elongated hole that's sort of ripped out. So at least I've got a little bit of glass in there to hopefully stop that from ever happening. That's my theory anyway. Let's get this done. We'll get home the old wife and family. On it down the boat on a Sunday morning before they get up. Just gives me a little extra time to get some stuff done. I can get a bit more of my boat done and move the project forward without using up any sort of family time, so to speak, yeah. Right, so now, waste of time marking both holes, it, it just doesn't work. Every time I mark one, drill it, screw something in, the other holes, totally, totally different place. It looks like it's in the middle, but then looking at it like that, it's just not, it's, it looks wonky. Visually, it just doesn't look right. I mean, I'm talking a hair, but it just doesn't look right. Now, I want these to be right. I want it to look right. So when it's in the hole, it all looks square and true where it's supposed to be. There's mid hinge, so yeah, this one's slightly over. So I'll put this one in the correct place, it's slightly wonked. Try that in the hole and have another look. See how it sits. Yeah, that's fine. That looks good. I'll try it in the hole before I commit to drilling it. That looks fine there, so I'm happy with that. 
Make sure it's not moved. Feel that go into the wood. That's all I want. I don't want to go through the wood. My legs underneath. <laughs> that won't be good. There we go. I'll just get this one fixed in place before I go today. I'll be happy. the center of the bolt through the hinge so if I mess up these this set of hinges I can always order a couple more what I don't want to be doing is ordering another 16 or 18 more you yeah. know because I've ruined all of them. That will get expensive. Right, so we are centre there. Let's try that in the hole. You know, if I'm slightly out, it really doesn't matter too much. But I want it as good as I can get it, you know. I don't want to mess up. I make a mess of it. I've got a little bit in the top of there that needs to be cleared out. That's holding that patch out of the top. Oh yeah, that was it. I've got to build that corner up, haven't I? <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, I was glassing that edge. I should have done that. So that's not finished. Right. That'll look good. I'm happy there. Yeah, so I've got to adjust the gap a bit more on this one. I've got no gap in a couple of places. See, nothing I make's absolutely perfectly square, so it doesn't need to be perfectly square. It needs to be visually straight. There we go, right, Put screw in there, turn it around, we'll have a look how that fits in the hole, I'm not going to over tighten them because I don't want to pull the glass up, this one's going in here, I have got a little bit of muck in the top here still, which is holding that out at the top, so I've got to take care of that, other than that it's sitting back nicely, but it's stopping it from moving up. Well, I don't think it really needs to move up. I think it just needs more gap at the bottom. And I've also got to fill this hole at the bottom here, which I was going to glass the hatch and I forgot about, because I've done them hinge repairs. But I wouldn't have been able to do that at the same time as this, because that would have been in the way. All that glass that was overhanging before I sanded it would have just got in the way. I've got to take some off this bottom lip, which will lose some of that anyway. Not quite enough, but some of it. But I still, I like the gap around the top and the sides. That's sitting exactly right, so I'm happy now. I can drill these holes, and then all I've got to do is I've got to take a little bit off of here, and a little bit off the bottom of the hatch. And this one will be uh, in the right place. So then when I shave some off the bottom, I won't have to worry about centralising it because I know it's already in the right place. Got, see the top square all the way along and I've got the same size gap each end. So I can now drill these exactly where they are, then shave the bottom of the hatch itself 
and it will be in the right place. A lot thinner this one. That moved. It moved back again. When I've done this first one, that moved. It swung over. Damn it! That's where I want it. That hole. Oh, perfect. Everything's going well, and then <laughs> there's the mistake. That's where I want it, that's sitting square. As I drilled this one, that bottom hinge, just the movement on the pin, pulled round slightly. So now what I need to do is keep it fixed in the right place. And ream that hole out of it, like so. It's literally a nadgers. But it's gotta be right, otherwise the whole thing will just, ugh, it'll look horrible, wouldn't it? There we go, right, that's two hatches done. I'm going to take that off. Pull them holes right through. Check it. The only thing awkward with the stainless screws. They're not magnetic. There we go. All right. Because this one's a lot thinner than that first one. So it's a lot easier to drill, so it'll be a lot lighter. Because I messed that first one up, it was made different. I've had to put a lot more thickness in the bottom to get that curve right, you know. That's just part of the parcel. But now, I've got two covers, or hatches, ready to go. So all I've got to do now is shave a little bit more off of there. Sort this corner out. Probably take a little bit of the hatch this end and the bottom. That's it. And that's number two done. Right, let's get that sorted. Take care of that. top across the top. I've got this end looks perfect now. This end's not bad. It's a little bit tight just in there. Gap around the top and both sides now. A little bit there needs to be filled. I've got a little gap along the bottom. I think I can go a bit more on that. Yeah, I need more off the uh, lower side. Bottom of that down a little bit more. I made a rough line around it um, before I started. I'll just take it down a bit at a time. 
It's quite easy to take the bit more off if I need to. It's going to be a lot harder to put it back on. So I don't want to take off too much in one go. Right, so I need to get me bolts for this socket. That looks good. It's a lot flatter this one, so it's not pulling it round as much. When you hold the hinges in, it's not rattling too much. So. Oh, I'm happy with that. I don't think I need to build this up anymore. I did put a tiny bit of glass on it. I think I've taken most of it off. But when these bolt in, they look pretty flat. It does stick out slightly at the bottom there. But not enough that I think it's going to cause me a problem. Like on that first one. There we go. That. If I push them in tight. It's quite even all the way around. It's actually a little bit low, a little bit low on this side there, a tiny bit. The screw's not holding into this. This is a lot thinner. This one, so it's nice and level there, all the way around. A little low spot there, but that ain't bad at all. I can just, sorry, I can still take a little bit more off the bottom of this hatch, I think, just to give me a better gap there fill that bit there and I'll take a little bit more off of that but I think I'm going to have to do that next time because I've got to go I've wasted half a day so <laughs> it's nearly 11 o'clock so by the time I get locked up and everything away there we go but that is number two fitted just got to take a little bit off that bottom tiny little shave off of there and that's done sorted Alright, thank you for watching live today and I will catch you all next time. Bye for now.